Hey guys, happy Thursday. So on Thursdays, um, we throw a lot of different movements, but all these movements are accessible to the majority of the population. So the idea today is for you guys to show up, for you guys to sweat, for you guys to have fun. Um, so let me walk through the movements. It'll be formatted differently than what I say. So make sure you guys pay attention to your coaches because sometimes they can get a little bit tricky. All right. So we want to start with a man maker. And the man maker, if you look it up anywhere, it could be different. The way we're going to define a man maker today is that we're going to start with the dumbbells in our hand. Right. We're going to pass through our burpee. Then we're going to go a row, a row. We're going to jump up to a power clean and push press. All right. And so the way it'll look again, start with the burpee, chest hits the ground. Come here, row right, row left. You jump up to the shoulders, to overhead. One more time with no words. So that'll be our man maker as defined Thursday at Paradise or CrossFit. Your next movement would be a box jump with a step down. So I'm gonna move these little guys out of my way so I don't roll my ankles, all right? So we're gonna jump up, extend the hips, step down, extend the hips, step down. Once we get done with that, we'll go into some flutter kicks. Now, these flutter kicks will lay out, ideally, Shoulders off the ground, right? Hands can be doing whatever. It'll be best if they're behind your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Left, right is one. So you go left, right, one, left, right, two. And so that ten would actually be five. All right? So once we get done with those flutter kicks, I'm sure you guys will have an intermission to get set up for your dumbbell bench press. So dumbbells, most likely a little bit heavier, or it could be the same with the man makers, but we got some dumbbell bench press. So people always ask like palms facing away, palms facing each other, it's personal preference. Some people feel really comfortable here. This puts a lot of demand on your shoulders. The elbows go out and the weight kind of comes across the upper part of the, the pec. And then here kind of isolates, uses a little bit more of the lat, the meaty part of the pecs. So whichever way you guys want to do that, feel free. Um, it's still a dumbbell push, bench press at the end of the day. All right. So definitely have um, the autonomy to make that decision. Once you guys get done with that, we'll go do these pull-ups. And it's program banded assisted pull-ups. So what we want to avoid at all costs is any variation of the kip. Okay, no kippy. So what that means, if you can do 10 to 15 pull-ups without a band, do 10 to 15 strict pull-ups without a band. If that's too easy for you, maybe you go weighted. Congratulations, right? Um, but for the rest of us normal folk, we're just gonna grab a band and we're just gonna go 10 to 15 strict pull-ups, right? Ideally try to get them done in as few sets as possible. We'll come in, right? I like to just step in both feet so I can split my body equally right down the middle, put my hands equal distance away from the center of the band, and then keep my feet out in front, right? And then chin over bar, back down, chin over bar, back down, right? And then I'll go 10 to 15 of those. So that's how that'll look, right? And use a band that allows you to get like big numbers, okay? Um, we don't want to be onesies and twosies to join this workout. So once we get done with that, we'll go into this rear delt fly. So here, um, maybe something on a lighter end, medium, medium to light. Um, I like to think about getting my knees soft, folding at the hip, sending my butt back, keeping my back flat. And then I just think about pinching the shoulder blades together as the elbows come high and outside in this nice flat position. So that'll be your rear delt fly. And then we'll go our shoulder taps, right? 
this is gonna be near the end of the workout, so it's gonna be really, really easy for the hips to kind of do the swivel dance. Work your hardest not to have the hips do the swivel dance, all right? So what I see is kind of like this here. That's okay, but not quite it. We wanna be here. Making sure the hips don't do the swivel dance, all right? Then once we get done with that, we'll go this arch up, which is to be here. That'll be our arch up. Maybe for 10 seconds, maybe for 10 reps. I'm not quite sure at the moment, but that variation there. And then you guys will come over to your hollow hold or your hollow rock. And you guys are a rock for 10. So my heels almost hit the ground. My shoulders almost hit the ground, but not quite. And we'll rock back and forth for 10. Guys, this is Thursday. These are all the movements you're gonna be exposed to. All of them are easily accessible, infinitely scalable. Have fun with this one. Go get it. Great job.